All right, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm going to keep filming my practice sessions, uh, different things like that. We get $600. Uh, so this is my everyday. I'm going to show what I do every day, my everyday practice session. Uh, I have three $600 bankrolls to use. Uh, sometimes I get into all of them. Sometimes I don't ever get past the first one. just depends. Very rarely will I lose all of them. Uh, so what I'm going to do, play the 678. $75 is how I always start. I always start with the $75, 678. I shoot the 1, 2, 1, 3. This is always how I start the practice. Sometimes it ends complete light side. Sometimes it, oh, come out seven. Okay, that was a bad throw. Hit the rubber. Sometimes, let's go to 120, or 100, I mean. Sometimes I end in anything but 10. Sometimes I end in towering sixes and eights. It just depends. I, I let it go the way it goes. I don't try to dictate it in that fashion. Like I don't like I'm only going this strategy the whole way. All right, so three one four. I don't do that. All the way across. We're gonna go two hundred. So in this case right here, if I rolled a seven, or if I rolled a four, I mean, I would get into the next $600 because it's unlikely, it's pretty unlikely. So I wouldn't feel all that bad about it. Like I would be like, yeah, I just kind of got unlucky, I guess I'd call it. But if I do roll a four, then that's what I would do. And there's a three, one, two, three. Uh, I'm not expecting to roll a four, obviously. Let's go with the 4343. And again, I, I'm not a great dice controller, guys. A lot of this stuff I just choose. I mean, the 4242 is what I meant. Sorry, 4343. What I meant is uh, I, I'm not a great dice controller by any means. So, what I do a lot of times is I just do things I think won't create that number. All right. There's an a easy eight for 35. We'll rack this one. Maybe I'll go two six two six here. Now I get that there's a hard four right on top of that, but I'm not too worried about rolling that. And there's the six five one. Okay, so that's another thirty five. All right, so now I got that seventy five I lost back. I'm keeping track of this guy since I'm thinking about these things. So from here on out, I'm definitely going to be uh, attacking the board or attacking the seven. One of the two. From here on out. And there's an 11. Okay. Uh, definitely horn brings a horn here. That was an 11, guys, not 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a $20 horn bet. All right. I'm going to pick it up right on this 11. We got a 10. Pretty close. All right, I'm gonna drop this, get four back, get 50. And I'm gonna bow my five 15 bucks. All right, now I'm just gonna kind of rhythm roll it. I'm not that afraid of the four anymore. I already made my money back from my first one. And there's a six for 35. So again, guys, I'm playing light side here. There's no doubt about it. I mean, I got five of the numbers covered on light side. I'm really not playing dark side craps here. I'm just playing the don't as a cover bet, as a seven winner. And there's the six again for 35. Okay. 35. I'm gonna bump up my eight, 18 bucks. And the seven, okay? So that would be, in my opinion, a very average rub. That would be right in the middle, right where most of them are gonna land, between six and 10 rolls, somewhere in there, uh, when you're trying to dice control. Then that will get paid 100, okay? That would be very normal to me. 
Not abnormal, not a good run, not a bad run. All right, so I'm up a little bit of money. Very normal to me. All right, so I'm up a little bit. Here we go. We got a 10, perfect. Six, four, 10. All right, we're gonna be in the same position. But you know, I can play anything but 10 here, but I mean, basically that's what I'm doing. So not a huge deal, not a huge difference. Except for that is, all right. So at this point, remember, I was already in the lead, so I'm going to press from the beginning here. And I'm going to shoot the 1-3-1-3. One, three, one, three. Not any special reason, I just want to. I put six fours on the dice on axis. There's a 12. I'm going to do a $20 horn. I'm just going to pick them up. Got a 10. Ooh, brutal. Ooh, brutal. All right. Same thing here. We we'll go to 225. I'm actually going to go to 250. Oops. Two fifty. All right. One, two, one, three. That was a pretty rough ten there. Pretty rough. And we got a seven. <laughs> Ouch. All right. So in this case, that was not a ten. That was a seven. In this case, I would get back in there and I'd get six hundred dollars out because I would. I'm not. I don't feel like that. That was. Uh, like a bad play on my part. I hit a 10 and then I backdoored it with a 7. So I wouldn't feel too concerned about that. All right, I'm gonna go to $300, $400 on the don't. So this is exactly the way I practice. I'm gonna go one, two, one, three. Here we go. We got the six, okay, that'll work. Let's move this right over here. I'm going to bump all this up. All right, so we're looking for some numbers that aren't called six. So I'm just going to shoot it how I got it. Aces, okay. If we didn't play the Iron Cross, that would have been nice, huh? Get a $20 horn. They haven't had a horn, but brought a horn yet. Four, still didn't. <laughs> All right, so we got a hundred coming. Four, three, or two, I mean. Get three and change. Rack some money. All right, still dodging that six, hopefully. Still dodging. And there's the eight for 70. Take it to 90. I'd like to make a couple black chips here. Definitely would be a good thing. Hit a couple black chips. And we got that six, wow. All right, so. Uh, so it's beat me up enough. We're going to go to the pass line. Uh, trusting what's going on here. Got crushed. Uh, playing the note. We've got to come out 12, oddly enough. Okay. Right back on the pass line. I'm going to do a $10 horn. Uh, I'm going to go three on the little ones and two on the big ones. Move that over. Oops, let's get some red. And then we got this sitting here, so I'm gonna put 50 on it. There we go. Point spot. And we got a 6410. Perfect. I'm gonna drop two bucks. 
and get 100. Reinvest 50. Get a few of these wins in here. And there's the four. All right, so uh, that's going to put 150. Uh, it's going to cost me three in VIG. Take this one up. And I'm going to take my six up to 150. Here we go. There's that eight. $105 eight. Same thing, I'm taking my six eight up to 150. And uh, we'll go one more hit, and then we're going to turn the bets off and start a cone progression. Take it down, whatever. And there's that six right there for 175. All right, take them all down. Still got this five running, so we're gonna go on and do a hop sevens and a twenty-five dollar cum. There we go. There's an eleven. Okay, I'm just gonna pay myself ten dollars. Replace it. Four two six. Okay, so it's going to travel. We're going to go to thirty there, and still hop. And I'm going to add in a, a quarter on the field. And there's the four. Okay, perfect. Good travel. This is going to get paid 25 here. Replace that. I'm going to leave that field up there. And I'm going to go 50 on my cone. Six, four, ten. Okay, perfect. Just going to cover that. And I'm going to go. 60 on the come bet. All right, here we go. And there's a three. Okay, it's not great. Not really what we were after. Seventy-five. Shooting pretty well today. And there's a six, okay. Again, not exactly what we're after. That's gonna pay there. This is gonna travel. These are gonna lose. 50, 25. Would like to re-roll that six now. Five, okay, so we got our our point. This is going to travel. We can get paid here. We can get paid 75 here. Rack it all up. Stay there. Let me get some reds. Oops. And we are going to put on the hops 10, 20, 30 on the hops. Hop sevens because we got to cover what's out there. We're really hoping to land on one of those. Seven. Okay. Five, two, seven. So obviously these are all going to lose. Leave that there. Okay. So this pays there. And then this pays 150. 
It just look just lost a little bit. Not a lot. Alright, that doesn't come out of seven, guys. Alright, so now I finally saw a seven. I'm gonna jump right back over here. Get back in my game. And go with a hundred. One, two, one, three. Remember, I'm 1,200 in. We got an eight. Okay. 100. So we're going to do a big iron, bigger iron cross, not big. And a quarter. All right, here we go. We need some odds, and we'll go one roll. There's the nine right there. 25 on the nine. And we're going to go 150 in odds. It pays 125. And there's the 10. Okay, so it's two hits. And there's aces. That's double of that bubble. We use this one, Get some red. Take it up. We've had a lot of horn numbers. My assumption is we're going to get a non horn number. Hopefully, it is not an eight. It'll be expensive, eight. And there's a little bit. Still getting more. Okay. And leave it. Leave it right there. Here we go. And we got a three, two, five. Okay. Long roll out, still five. Okay, this is gonna lose. That right there is gonna pay 105. Take our six up. Take our five up. Replace that. Here we go. Nine. There we go. Fifty dollar nine. Bam! Crack that one. <clears throat> and we have a four three seven. Come here, four three seven. Okay, all these are gonna lose. It's gonna win one hundred. This is gonna win one twenty five. And looks like we're back to even. Probably. One, two, one, three. So that's 500, 900, 1,000, 11, 12. So we're up just a little bit. Six. Okay. Perfect. Same thing. We got a hundred sitting there. Got a little more at risk than that. We're gonna go sixty in odds this time. Not as aggressive. And there's an eleven for twenty-five. Okay, and this time I'm gonna do something a little different. Every time I win on, on the horn, I'm gonna put it on the four. I mean, on the field, I'm gonna put it on the four. Just a little, little difference. Six, four, ten. So if we can hit that four, it'll be a good one. Sometimes I do this. This is me just trying to get a payday. Get on that. Three, two, five. Okay, this is going to win 70 minus 25. And we can just do it like this. We'll make it easier. Rack it. So we're going to rack this one. It wasn't, it wasn't a field number. Six, four, ten. Should have played the ten, huh? Stack it up. That four's getting healthier. We're into the black chips. Come on, three, one. Come on, three, one. Ah, oh, six, one. No big deal. I do that sometimes. It's just, you know, it's kind of a go for it almost. You kind of invest in all that profit from that field. 
right there. Okay. So, you know, if you were 1200 in, let's make, let's make that 500 over there. This looks like a thousand, 11, 12. I mean, we're right even. Come out seven. Can't seem to roll no come out winners today. We go to 150. And maybe maybe we'll switch it up here after this roll and we'll go with anything but 10. So we've rolled a lot of 10s. Maybe, oh, there's another one. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> maybe leave that alone. 150 there. We're on the 10. I'm going to spread out real heavily across here. I'm going to put 400 on the lay odds. Oh, we need our... Try to win some, some black chips here. 538, that's $105. We're going to rack it. Hard eight, another 105. I'm gonna rack it. Three, two, five, that's also $105. I'm gonna rack it and get our little run like this. Start racking up black chips. You know, makes your day shorter. You ain't gotta be there so long to make the profit. Six five yo. Okay, so that might be an indicator for you that it might be either time to reduce, get out, something like that. Uh, I'm actually gonna play two more hits, and then I'll be done. Three two. We have a six five yo. Okay, that's back to back yos. Hard four. Okay, so we're gonna drop two dollars for a hundred. Need one more hit. You might want to be out here after seeing the hard four and the two elevens. Might scare you off. Uh, it's probably not a bad idea. Get 150 there. You know, you got a lot at risk. $550 at risk on that 10. Uh, like I said though, I'm gonna go one more hit and then I'm gonna pull out and be done. And well, we get all the set. Okay, it's no big deal. Two hundred and one fifty. Rack it all up. All right, let's see where we're at. Five hundred. 1,000, 1,200, so we're at 275, $292 in the profit. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. I wouldn't be disappointed. Uh, almost $300 up after a pretty uh, rough run that we had, that we fought our way back from. So yeah, I'd be, I'd be okay with that, I'd be pleased. Uh, you know, at this point, maybe there's more random rollers coming. Some reason you're up two hundred ninety-two dollars is a good reason to leave. Uh, there's a lot of good reasons to leave. Uh, most of the time, it's when you have the casino's money is the best reason. So, you know, I'd be completely pleased with this. This, you know, I'd be up a couple hundred. I did have to get into the second leg of my bankroll, but that's not unusual. That does happen pretty regularly. So that's one thing about bankroll management and actually having a bankroll. Uh, should have bankroll rules. Like, what do you do here? What do you do here? Was it bad play that cost it? Were you getting crazy? Uh, or was it just an unlucky run? And I felt like hitting that 10 and then hitting the seven right behind it, it was just kind of an unlucky run. So I wasn't too worried about getting into the bankroll. 
and obviously it returned and righted itself. Uh, we really didn't play any different. Uh, so again, this, this is this is me just showing that the game is not difficult. Uh, but you shouldn't randomly be doing things. You shouldn't randomly be throwing money out there. You shouldn't randomly be playing. You should be directed in all the plays you make. They shouldn't matter. They should mean something each time. Not just, oh, I hope this happens. Don't don't hope. That's why I say I don't get lucky when I play. I'm directed. It's direct attacks on what I'm trying to do. Uh, so that's why I don't feel like I get lucky. And again, this is how I practice, guys. This is what the things I do. I repeat these processes. I redo things. I do lay a lot more numbers than I've shown. Uh, but the thing is, is when I lay numbers, I lay them based upon re rep repetition and frequency. So, like, I would have got my butt kicked today probably if I went with lay repetition because that 10 kept popping up. Now, I don't know how many 7s were between them, but it seemed like it, they were hitting often. So, I probably would have lost a little there, you know, and not been so good there. But mo normally, I do. Normally, I, I keep that in mind. I do lay back walls. I do things like that. So, uh, and I also, guys, I also play the hard ways. Like, I play the hard ways very directed. So... Uh, a lot of times when I'm, uh, I don't play them necessarily as a hedge. I play them because I'm trying to win on them. So if I haven't seen a hard four for a while, I might start stacking up chips on it. Every time I hit something, I might put some chips on it. And hopefully it's, it's, it's a, it's a profit based move. You're not really worried about losing it. What you're hoping, I said, don't use that word, but what you're, what you're doing is you're saying, okay, I'm going to put a small amount of risk here. That's actually profit. And when it does hit, it'll be so valuable in compared to the small losses. And so that, that's one of the things I also do. Uh, I do, I, I play the horn. I play it pretty regularly. Normally, I always have a 3C2E up just all the time. Uh, basically because, believe it or not, in the long run, uh, it will help you cover the seven losses on the don't. It'll help you cover them in the long run. So... Uh, just with a 3C2E, it, it'll it'll effectively fix that. Uh, it takes a huge part of it away for $5. So, uh, again, I have runs where I never wins. I go 30, 40 rolls and never wins. And then I have times where it goes five or six, seven rolls, and there's four of them, you know. So I just, it, it evens out, but it takes away some of that seven damage. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, this is just another way that I practice. And I just like, I want to show this stuff because I keep getting asked questions like this on, you know, more of what I do exactly at the table and stuff. And so this is more of me showing that. And uh, you guys have a great day. This is Jacob from Wager Me This and...